Petrov's defense, classical attack, 5, d5 6. bd3. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. Petrov's defense immediately attacks white's unprotected e4 pawn, while ignoring black's unprotected e5 pawn. It is excellent. Nx e5 places the knight in the center, where it has influence over many crucial squares, and takes the undefended e5 pawn. It is ideal. d6 attacks the knight on e5 and allows the light squared bishop to develop. It is best. Nf3 returns the attacked knight back to the f3 square, where it supports the d4 square and fights for the e5 square. It is best. Nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board, where it controls many important squares. It is best. d4 takes space in the center, controls the e5 and c5 squares and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. It is best. d5 takes space in the center, defends the knight on e4 and controls the c4 square. It is best. Bd3 develops the bishop, attacks the knight on e4 and prepares castling. It is best. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This threatens to pin a knight to the king. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is the last book move. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is quite good. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is best. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. This permits the opponent to threaten checkmate. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to threaten checkmate. It is a miss. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is best backs off it is ideal not the finest this it is incorrect this provides an equal exchange of parts that's good the pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote this stops the opponent from being able to win a queen it is best this is the only good move it is a great move recaptures it is ideal. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. This is the only move that works. This threatens to win a rook. It is a great move. 
This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This threatens to win a knight. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a rook. It is good. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. This poses a knight winning threat. It is ideal. This is the only good move. This threatens to win a pawn. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a knight. It is a great move. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is quite good. This threatens to add pressure on a pinned knight. This stops the opponent from being able to win a rook. It is good. This move puts the pawn on a safer square. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is best. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. That was a truly amazing move. This is the only move that works. This threatens to win a queen. It is brilliant. This protects a queen who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Backs off. White is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. This comes in several sections. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This moves the knight to safety. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That pawn was available for free. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. So, the attacked pawn is protected. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It's compelled. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing rook, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This strikes a rival rook. It is ideal. This is a missed chance to imply that winning a knight is possible. It is incorrect. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only move that works. This was a game-changing move, giving black a winning position. It is a great move. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It's compelled. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. It is quite good. This wastes a chance to relocate a piece to safety. It is incorrect. This is a missed chance to claim a free pawn. That falls flat. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. A passed pawn is pushed by this. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is quite good. This prevents the adversary from moving a passed pawn toward promotion. It is quite good. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. It's compelled. 
the best choice is this one. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It's compelled. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This avoids the rook's check. That's good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This avoids the knight's check. It's compelled. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. As a result, the adversary may promote a passed pawn. It is incorrect. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This is the only good move. This was a game-changing move, white is no longer in a losing position. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a great move. A passed pawn is pushed by this. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This is the only move that works. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. This prevents the opponent from being able to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This prevents the adversary from elevating a pawn to a queen. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This moves the checking rook farther away. It's compelled. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. Very precise. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. 